Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th. Yeah, so you know the timing is fluid. Um, some people don't get it, okay, but the timing really is fluid. I had a uh, reading that I did a few days ago play out today. It played out as, as I said it. Um, and I had no idea it was going to happen on this day or what was going to happen, but it just happened to happen on this day. So pay attention, okay? The timing is for Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? It may not resonate today as well. It could resonate in a couple of days. Um, the Three of Wands. Two of Swords reversed. Three of Cups. Knight of Swords reversed. Moon. Nine of Swords. Knight of Wands reversed. Oh boy. Two knights. And I'm just putting them where I think they need to go. Putting them in their place. Six of Swords. Magician reversed. And High Priestess. That makes sense. So the High Priestess is all about intuition, all about the God. I was actually going to start this reading off by talking about the High Priestess. And I think I'm going to stop with that card right there. The High Priestess is somebody that chooses to be alone. This is somebody that is on a spiritual journey, that is spiritually awakened, that is not dependent on others and knows that... Uh, another person's energy is going to affect theirs. This is somebody that is highly um, spiritual, highly engaged with the spiritual realm, okay? So we have a high priestess here who has chosen to be alone or has chosen to go within to develop her spiritual gifts. There's, this is somebody that is psychic or uh, highly developed intuitively. We have high intuition here. I feel like we have somebody here that it knows that they're dealing with somebody that is scheming or is a trickster or has something up their sleeve. Somebody that has a hidden agenda. Perhaps this uh, high priestess is weary, is very, very weary, is maybe is giving deep thought to a relationship because there's some sort of disguise. Somebody is wearing a disguise in this highly intuitive individual. This may be a, a spiritual teacher, it could be a counselor, uh, it could be a tarot reader, a psychic. This person knows that somebody is hiding something. This person knows it. Um, I feel like there's been some sort of um, denial, avoidance of some sort. I feel like somebody has been uh, lying, you know, lying about something or they had some sort of tricks up their sleeves. This could be a potentially dangerous situation with these two cards reversed. I feel like um, somebody is, has gotten some sort of foresight or some sort of vision and I feel like perhaps they may have blocked somebody or they may be blocking somebody. Somebody may end up being blocked because of some sort of vision or somebody gets some sort of foresight in regards to a situation. There's a need to defend yourself and protect yourself. And I feel like we have a high priestess here that feels that way. I got to protect myself. You know, there could be gossip here. Got to protect myself from gossip. With the Three of Cups, that could be people socializing, you know, sharing things with people that doesn't, that isn't meant to be shared. The High Priestess um, typically keeps things to themselves. So I feel like we have an individual who doesn't want to share. The High Priestess is, is somebody that is very spiritual, spiritual that does not want to share. It's kind of like when people 
come to me and they they, they don't want to share their gifts they do want to share their gifts but how they see fit okay not to be forced to share somebody this this high priestess will do it in her own time when the time is right um, anyhow this is giving deep thought to a relationship stressed out somebody is is unclear of the path there's some sort of disguise with that moon card somebody is wearing a disguise they may be dealing there could be you know three people in the mix here and I feel like we have somebody here that is highly highly aware that they are dealing with an individual that is a trickster this is a trickster this is somebody that has a hidden agenda I feel like uh, somebody has been moving too fast you know, this is this is this is overly competitive, forcing something. Um, I don't know. There could even be some violence here with these two cards. I think there's also a need to slow down, to stop, stop. Something is somebody needs to uh, stop. It's like they need to stop investing in something, or they there's no investment here anyway. There isn't no investment here because there's no pentacles here. They need to, and somebody may be putting the brakes on, put it that way. They're like saying stop, 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 stop. The answer is no, because the magician reverse is a no. Somebody may be telling somebody no. They, and this is a vision. It is foresight. Somebody was wearing a mask. They weren't seeing clearly. Um, I feel like the, the, somebody was planning on traveling somewhere or they were planning on going somewhere and they may have stopped or this could be a sudden stop. Could be a sudden departure even. Okay, there could be a sudden departure. Um, there could be a clash here. There could be some sort of clash. Um, I do feel like three is a crowd. Um, I feel like there's some sort of master manipulator here who has some tricks up their sleeve. They don't care who they hurt as long as they get what they want. There's secrets. There's definitely secrets here. Somebody is, is keeping their secrets to themselves. They do not want to reveal. They don't want to reveal. There's some sort of there's some sort of fear here as well. There's fear, fear of uh, I don't know maybe being attacked, you know. There's some sort of fear, but that that um, three of wands is a time of preparation. We have somebody here that it looks to me like we have somebody here that has left something behind they're focusing on the future and it looks like they do not want to engage with any third parties or any type of socializing it's like no I don't want to I don't want I'm going to focus on myself nine of wands is giving deep thought to a relationship there's secrets there's lies somebody is wearing a disguise they may be lying about a friend or a partnership or a third party situation right here there's there's lies and we have somebody here that is very stressed out because they know they know deep down that this is not a good situation they know it this is like a dangerous situation to be in. I do feel like somebody is putting the brakes on. I do. I feel like they're, they're putting something to a halt. Turning their back on a situation where that is potentially dangerous. I feel like whoever you're dealing with or the other person is hiding something maybe there's some sort of scheme we have a master manipulator here that was scheming something they weren't telling the truth but who they're dealing with an individual that is gifted and this gifted individual um, knows absolutely knows but the person that they're dealing with is unaware is unaware of the other person's gifts is unaware of the other person's position Feel like we have a sudden departure here I also I do I do I think that there's fear I do feel like there's fear I feel like we have an individual whose gut 
is telling them that they are dealing with a deceptive situation and they're going to be making a departure and saying no. I mean, the magician reverse is a no. I mean, the high priestess has deep feelings, is very observant, is very reflective and receptive, okay? She receives, she feels, she feels energy. So we have some, this is an energy reader. Very, and, this, and the high priestess is distant. And she remains distant because she feels so deeply. So we do have an individual that is feeling like, it feel, almost feels like this is, this, this is all a lie. There's some sort, somebody has some tricks up their sleeve and, you know, it's like, you know it. You know this person or these people with this three of cups. I feel like there's some sort of get together. You know, somebody may get invited to a get together and they may decide that they're going to go. Okay. Because it's like here, they're going to go. They're going to go. They're going. And this is, this is like, uh, putting a, a roadblock up. Not seeing something, not seeing the truth. Somebody decides they're going to go. They don't see it. They have some sort of denial or they don't, they're not listening to their gut. Yeah, there's gut here. But this is foresight. I'm, this is like going. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. But then I feel like there's some sort of deep intuition here that tells somebody that this is, it feels like is dangerous. It does. You know, when, when secrets get revealed that are not meant to be revealed, it can lead to a dangerous situation. But whoever this person is that doesn't, un, that isn't very spiritual, doesn't realize the consequences of their words. So the Knight of Swords is in reverse, is an ignorant, and there's also a know-it-all here. And I feel like we, I mean, when we, when we have a high priestess that probably does not want to deal with a know-it-all. Who wants to deal with that? Definitely not a high priestess. The high priestess realizes their goals by themselves. This is somebody who spends their time alone, is not interested in socializing. I feel like there's been some sort of abuse of power or there is an abuse of power. Somebody may have abused their power in some way. With the magician reverse, that's a lack of awareness. I think whoever you're dealing with is unaware of, of the gift because the high priestess is very, very gifted. Anyhow, we have a highly intuitive individual that is sensing deception. And I feel like the deception is real. I feel like there is some sort of gossip here or something like that. It's like, and it's behind somebody's back. There's people talking behind somebody's back. Take a look at that row. And there's scheming. There's scheming going on. You know, talking behind another's back can lead to uh, serious consequences for the person you're talking about. Anyhow, I believe that there is an unclear and difficult path ahead. Somebody, there's a lack of clarity for this individual that has, I don't know, there's, there's some sort of manipulation here with the magician reverse, action without thought. Somebody may have said something without thinking, you know, they may have, they may have said something without thinking that made somebody see because these are both seeing there's both seeing something somebody has said something or they're going to say something that 
really uh, make somebody give deep thought to the relationship that they're dealing with and it could cause a sudden departure. We have strong competition here again as well with these two cards right here. We have a strong competition here. We do. It's almost like we have a know-it-all. This person wants to prove that they know more. The high priestess is not interested. I do believe that we have somebody here that is being intuitively guided. Their gut is really, really telling them, you know, to, it feels like protect, it feels like protect themselves. I do feel like there's a secret, okay? There's definitely a secret. Somebody is keeping a secret. They're hiding something. All is not as it seems. Seriously. With that moon card, all is not as it seems. There is some sort of secrets here. Somebody is keeping some secrets. And they do not want to reveal those secrets. And maybe it's because of fear. Look at all the blue. <laughs> what I just heard was still waters run deep. We have a liar here. We have an untrustworthy individual who is scheming, who has some sort of hidden agenda. This person, I feel like this is an out of control energy. I do. This is insincere. We have somebody here that is not sincere and they are dealing with an intuitive individual who sees it at a mile away. Anyhow, I do believe that there is, I don't know, I think this has to do with a get-together. It's like going to a get-together where there is something that is hidden. There is some sort of deception. All is not as it seems. Proceed with caution. Both of these cards, proceed with caution. Be careful. Be really, really careful. Somebody is dealing with a liar, okay? There is lies, 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 okay? Listen to your gut. If your gut says that this is not what you want to do, if it says that there is some sneaky, shady behavior going on, then don't go. We could have somebody here that is sensing, it feels like, if you're sensing that they're, that your friends are not really your friends, the Three of Cup represents friendships or relationships, if you are sensing that somebody is hiding something, that they are not being true, that this is not, they are talking behind your back, the answer is yes. I feel like you need to take that power away and go within and focus on yourself. Listen to your gut. Do not give your power and your energy away to somebody that is a know-it-all, that is clueless and rude. I really feel like somebody's gut is really, really, really talking to them. Listen to your gut. If your gut says no, then don't go. Good luck.